Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be previewing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers preseason week three matchup versus the Indianapolis Colts. And in these videos, I kind of take a look at some of the storylines that are going on with the Buccaneers going into their upcoming game. So let's dive right in. The first thing I want to talk about is the starters are actually playing in this preseason matchup, both on offense and on defense, as long as guys are are healthy. And I know people have been worried about nagging injuries to guys like Tristan Wirfs, Mike Evans, Russell Gage, among other players, but I feel like for the most part, the majority of the starters will be playing at least a series or two of downs in this game, which has created a very tricky situation. I've seen your guys' comments, right, where some people were very upset that Tom Brady took some time away from the team because he wasn't able to build chemistry with guys along his offensive line and really just the team in general, and now that he has an opportunity to do that here in this preseason game, I've seen people comment and say that they're worried about Tom Brady potentially getting hurt in this preseason game, as well as any of the other starters that may be out there. So, you know, while I do understand both sides of those points, I think that overall the starters playing is a good thing. It gives Tom Brady live game action reps with some of these guys that he needs to build chemistry with. I think that is a good thing. I understand where people are coming from in regards to being worried about one thing or another, but overall, I think it's going to be a good thing for building chemistry, for getting guys warmed up. You got to remember, there isn't a fourth preseason game. After this, they essentially have a week off before regular season week one in basically early September. So this is going to be good experience for Tom Brady, the offensive line, the offense, the defense, all of it. I, I think it's good to get a couple of series of downs in there to get warmed up, get some live reps in because you got to remember the starters have not played any basically at all live game action reps throughout the entirety of the preseason so far. So they need that, you know, warm up. They need that tune up. They need that chemistry. They need that experience before they are ready to play in week number one in my opinion. The second thing I want to talk about here is this is the last chance for all of these Buccaneers players that are battling for roster spots, battling for backup jobs to make an impression and separate themselves among the packs. We see so many battles going on right now along the offensive line, the wide receiver room, the tight end position, the you know, linebackers, the defensive line, the secondary, everywhere. There are battles going on for roster spots, for backup positions, for potentially starting positions in the case of, say, left guard and maybe even tight end a little bit. There's a lot going on. So this is the last chance for these guys to make an impression, to get some good film out there, be it for the Bucks to potentially keep them, be it on the main roster or the practice squad, for other teams, the 31 other teams around the league to potentially keep them on their main rosters or on their practice squads. So let's watch these guys. Let's appreciate everything that this has been throughout the entirety of training camp in the preseason. All these battles have been going on. It's been a lot of fun to see and cover here on the channel. Myself, personally, I like preseason. I like watching these battles uh, that happen throughout training camp and the preseason because guys are really going out there and giving it their all. And in this situation, this is their last chance to do that. So you know, especially a lot of those backups are really going to be going out there and doing their absolute best to make an impression, not just for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but also for all the other teams that are potentially going to take a look at them as well, be it on the practice squad or be it on their 53-man roster. That's another point to make. This is the last preseason game of the year. And as I said, I like the preseason. I know I'm definitely in the minority whenever I make that take, but I always enjoy the backups playing. I know a lot of people, you know, in the Bucks fan base and the Buccaneers community right now are ready for regular season football. That is completely understandable, by the way. So, yeah, you know, this has been a fun journey covering training camp, covering preseason and whatnot, but it's finally over. We will be ready to have Buccaneers regular season football back in just a couple of weeks so everybody can celebrate that, you know, thing happening, I guess you should say. But, 
yeah, folks. And then after this, we have roster cuts. This is going to be an interesting part to cover as well. I'm sure I'm going to be making a crap ton of videos. There are going to be some good players cut, folks. At the end of the day, that is the way it is. There are so many stinking battles going on. There may be some names out there that may surprise you in regards to roster cuts. You've also got to consider other teams are cutting some pretty surprising players as well. Look at the case of Gennard Avery. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers picked him up right away after the Pittsburgh Steelers cut him from their team. Very similar things could happen around the league. We'll have to wait and see what is going on. There's still a lot of, you know, very decent free agent options out there as well. So, you know, after the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have their initial 53-man roster, that is not necessarily set in stone as to the 53 men that will be going out there on a week-to-week -week basis for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A lot of different things can happen. Practice squad moves can happen as well. So let's pay attention to what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers do with their roster moves as well as what other teams do around the league as well. Again, for all of those roster moves, I'm going to be covering it here on the YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. But folks, that's pretty much it for this short review. I will be going live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the YouTube channel today with my reactions to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers third preseason game versus the Indianapolis Colts. So make sure you go check that out. I would love to have a lot of you people there to kind of, you know, have one more go in the preseason while we get warmed up for the regular season. But folks, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know what you think about all the storylines that I talked about down in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.